if you are a small uh, content creator on YouTube and you don't get the subscribers you want, you don't get the likes, the comments you want and stuff like that, don't give up. Just keep doing what you love. That's the most important. Me, I'm uh, Chris. They call, uh, they call me Chris. My full name is uh, Christopher and uh, I'm uh, 45 years old. Uh, in this video, I was telling myself I need to try to show a little bit more who I am. Uh, be a little more uh, personal in my attitude. Uh, when I make videos, I uh, slide into that documentary mode and speak very uh, monotone. So uh, today I'm going to try to be more me. And uh, this is the hardest video I have made so far. All the others, a lot of work, many hours with uh, editing, uh, planning, walking, hiking, hungry, tired, cold. But it's all worth it. But this video, that's the worst one. So uh, that's how it is. I hope you like it. If you did, maybe hit the like button, make a comment, something like that. I would appreciate it very much. And if you are new to the channel, maybe hit the subscribe. I would appreciate it. My goal is uh, to reach uh, a thousand subscribers. On my channel, as you have seen, if you are a regular or you are a subscriber, I make cinematic, I make tutorials, I make everything. That's what I call it Christopher uh, Media, because I like everything creative. And as a known YouTuber said, the first hundred videos, just push them out, make, create, learn, uh, get experience and stuff like that. And that's what I'm doing now. And I think that I've hit someone's uh, heart or uh, personality with my videos because I am almost at 700 now. So hopefully I am doing uh, something right. Uh, yes, maybe we should try to find another spot so it's uh, not getting to uh, same area all the time. I like to even now try to create a video. So uh, let's find another spot and uh, talk a little bit more. People uh, around me ask me how much time I spend uh, making uh, these videos uh, or at all on uh, YouTube and I can say uh, every time I got every minute every hour when I'm off duty that's all I do uh, I'm single so uh, if you're interested call this number 800 uh, joking uh, I'm single and that's a big plus when it comes to doing this uh, I think uh, if I'm gonna go into a relationship I need somebody who uh, at least understands what I'm doing or has the same interest uh, either in photography or uh, content creating or making videos or like to be a part of it. If you are a subscriber, maybe you have noticed a little gap in my video uploads and that's because I'm at work, night shift and uh, um, stuff like that, so I can't make videos. That's why when uh, suddenly I upload, upload, that's when I'm off duty and are able to create and I'm so eager to uh, to make something and have ideas and stuff in my head that I just pop them out uh, maybe every third day or uh, two or three videos a week so uh, yeah that's how I do it I hope if you are a subscriber or if you want to be a subscriber or considering it I hope you do uh, that you know that sometimes it's a little gap If you are a YouTube uploader or a content creator, what was the reason that made you uh, take that first step or wanting to make uh, YouTube videos? Use the commentary field, tell me your story. I'm actually interested to know. It's uh, many stories out there and uh, I am just one of the few many. So tell me yours, I'm very interested. Good morning everybody, it's the next day. It's starting to uh, become a kind of a vlog this one, but I told you that I wanted to show a little more personal side of me. It's 10.30 now, it's uh, told from the weather forecast that it's gonna be a sunny, bluish, partly cloudy sometimes day. And uh, that's what we get here in Norway at uh, this uh, time of year. So I think we're gonna head back out and then uh, talk a little bit more. I've been uh, editing the video so far that you are watching. I've been making the thumbnail and I would like your advice on something because I feel that I struggle a lot on the thumbnails. Uh, it's supposed to be the one, the first impression that sucks you in, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm hitting it with my thumbnails. So if you have any advice, 
uh, what would you like me to do different with my thumbnails to make them more attractive uh, when it comes to the video that you are watching. So uh, I would appreciate if you uh, maybe uh, comment below what would you, uh, your advice be uh, on the thumbnails to make them more attractive. Okay, let's change and head uh, back out in the nature. I'm actually going here complaining about the sun hitting my face because it uh, breaks down the, the frame or the composition for me. <laughs> That's my OCD and something I need to uh, try to calm down. Uh, not, not everything has to be perfect every time. Uh, I need to uh, try to relax more about that. But as I see the sun and I heard the birds uh, singing uh, back there, I am done with winter time. I can't wait for the summer to uh, approach. It's gonna be happy days. I'm glad I've been doing some uh, working out lately. And I did some climbing before. I've always been very uh, investigative and uh, uh, interested in details. So that's one of the things that uh, uh, fulfills my needs uh, doing YouTube and uh, photography. It's that uh, you're always looking for the details in the cracks in the in the landscape or uh, when you're taking uh, portrait photography, looking for that something that uh, enchances uh, the subject that you are taking photo of, if it's uh, photography we're talking about. When it comes to uh, video, you have seen uh, and heard me in the beginning, I have the OCD thing, I don't have OCD, but I'm very, very, uh, uh, what's, the name? what's the name? Uh, it, it, it has to be exactly as I see it, when I see it. If I'm not satisfied, I'm not taking the shot, I'm not uh, recording. So just like this frame here, it's uh, hopefully uh, good enough when I get back home so you can uh, actually watch me talk now. So. Uh, this uh, was a bunch of work just to get uh, this uh, message out. So uh, I'm gonna head back before the water comes up so uh, I'm not stranded on this island, Bounty Island. Uh, yeah, see you afterwards. Ooh. It's always much easier to go up than down. I really don't wanna fall in the water with a camera or gear to up to 30,000 Norwegian crowns. Time to get some energy back in the body. I have a little bag here with nuts and fruits. I always pack uh, light food when I'm out hiking because or else that bag is uh, getting very heavy. Good morning folks, day three. And as you can see, it takes time to make this kind of videos. It's uh, around 10 o'clock and we are going to a very nice, beautiful spot. There is a big uh, a grotto or a crack into the mountain. I'm gonna show you that. It's 40 centimeter uh, at the narrowest point. So before when I was 105 kilos, I actually wondered if I uh, got stuck in there. Now I'm almost 15 kilos down because I do like this. I do morning walks or I go to the gym in the morning on a fasted state. So we're gonna head down there and I'll have my breakfast and we're gonna talk a little bit more there. Let's go. I was thinking as I uh, walking here, uh, are you interested in me making a, uh, like a gear video? What gear I use, like uh, my backpack, because this is amazing and I'm not sponsored or anything. It's just amazing. I can use it for everything, my photography and uh, vid videography and uh, bringing uh, normal stuff with me on my hikes. So this is quite good. And uh, maybe talk a little bit about uh, the microphone I'm using, the, the gear I'm, uh, filming with and uh, the cameras and stuff that I uh, have or have like bought since the beginning, since I started my YouTube journey. If you're interested in that, comment below. I would uh, gladly try to make it. I thought I could mention this as well. Uh, on a lot of uh, the Norwegian hiking trails, uh, we have uh, red uh, office boxes or mailboxes like this, office boxes. I'm getting hungry. 
And uh, when you're out hiking, you, there is a book or a notepad in here that you can uh, uh, sign your name that you have been on uh, this uh, trail. So uh, it's a good thing. It uh, helps people get out. Uh, you have a purpose or a goal uh, to reach and uh, it's healthy. Yeah. <laughs> So here we are at uh, Glövrebu. I have some aerial footage, I think, from uh, some drone footage I did earlier from different places. I think in those videos, there are some pictures from here. So uh, I linked them up uh, in the corner here and you can watch them if you want. Now it's time for uh, breakfast. I'm getting hungry. And I thought we could talk about uh, my workflow uh, making YouTube videos. As I mentioned, when I was starting my breakfast, the workflow I do is maybe a little bit different than uh, maybe uh, how other people do it. I don't like to script it. I don't like to plan it because I want you as a watcher to uh, experience the same uh, kind of feeling that I experience uh, when I'm out. Uh, for instance, uh, this video is uh, made uh, step by step, no plan at all. As I said, I have an idea. It's the more personal side of me uh, together with uh, my YouTube uh, journey. That's uh, my idea. Uh, I make the video as I go because I like the experience to be genuine, uh, real, and the emotions and uh, feelings and the surroundings that I see uh, and feel is the same that you see and feel. Uh, when you are watching it now. Uh, I hope that makes sense. So that's my workflow uh, making YouTube videos. For instance, this video I have used four days, three days out in the field and uh, around 12 hours editing, I guess it will be around. So it takes a lot of time, but uh, that's my way of doing it and I enjoy every minute of it. So it, time doesn't matter when you enjoy something, right? So yeah. I told you I'm going to show you uh, that crack in the wall, uh, but there was a lot of people there and that's why I moved. Because uh, when there are kids around, I don't want to film and yeah, you know the rules. So they get on YouTube and people start complaining and stuff like that. I want to respect that. So maybe I just go back and uh, do a hyperlapse or, or a time lapse of the, the, the crack uh, in the mountain so you can see it. So there you have it, the famous passage that I've been talking about all day. Passage was the word I've also been looking for all day. I've been calling it crack and uh, rift in the wall and everything. Uh, it's a short one, but uh, it's a kind of a little uh, nice thing for people to visit here uh, where I live. It's very narrow. It's 40 centimeters on the, on the closest. So uh, some people need to be sure about themselves when they try to pass it. I remember I uh, had to think when I was 105 kilos. Let's find a spot. Let's do the outro. Now I've been walking around again today for five hours and 31 minutes. Uh, I guess it's going to be around six, six and a half hours also today. So let's find a spot, do the outro and finish off uh, this video. I hope you enjoyed it so far. Let's go. Sometimes you really start to wonder how the nature works. This big stone, and you can see the surroundings. Where did it come from? It's pretty strange sometimes. Yeah, okay. This was a video about me, about uh, YouTube, my journey so far. Some tips, some tricks, some ups and some downs, uh, some experience, and uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I tried to be... Uh, 
more me uh, and uh, I hope you uh, got a glimpse of uh, who I am. Uh, if you liked the, the, this style or uh, you want more of some of the things I talked about, just comment below and I'll uh, make it happen. Now it's the last day of my rotation off duty, so I'm going back to work for uh, almost 10 days. So maybe it's not going to be so much videos uh, for, uh, for a week or a week and a half. So I, uh, I mentioned that uh, before in the video. So I hope you uh, uh, understand. Okay, it was very nice to have you with me. I enjoyed it very much. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Chris. I'm 45. I'm from Norway. And it's gonna be more videos like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So until next time, I see you then. I hope so. Remember to subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.